previously on Balls. All right, so let's get Camper on the uh, on the cell phone then. Don't phone me back on the Skype now, Camper, please. And we'll have a chat to him about uh, the weekend's rugby. I wonder where he's been, where he's flying to. Well, he was in studio. Oh, it, uh, on Saturday. Yeah. That's us. Google phone comes as unknown number. Unknown oh, must be you, is it? Yeah, that's us. Sorry, we're on Google phone. Yeah, somebody poured coffee down our uh, equipment here, so half our equipment's missing, so we have to use Google phone. But very nice oh, and clear. Oh, that's very smart. Yeah, hmm. I know. Anyway, uh, so you in Jobik for the... A, must have been a poor supporter. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to that. So you in Joburg you because you're yeah, doing super sport, that's, huh? that's why I jumped in first. <laughs> okay. Um, we, are you are we up here just because of the super sports stuff, or are we doing other stuff in Joburg? Uh, no, I'm on my way to London. Are you flying to London now? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, I've sorry. I've got to go and do a, a speak engagement on Thursday in front of 900 people. It's amazing how the problems like all hate you and if they still keep booking you for talking mm. engagements. <laughs> no? oh, well, I hope you it? must uh, be good. Actually, it was quite interesting. Darren. I, I wrote an article a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> Obviously, Gatlin came out and said about kicking too many England players for the Lions tour. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so the the Times made a mind to make. Can you write an article? What do you think about the problems? So I just basically gave it to them. Like everyone else hates them and all that sort of stuff. And I said, you know. In the Olympic Games, you want all these gold medals, but realistically, you know, you, you you poke half the coaches from around the world. You had a couple of other runners from other countries running for you. And I said, the one thing that you um, you didn't get to gold medal for for recruitment, because I did a fantastic job. And at the end, I said, I still love you. So. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, so you still do, when you do go over there, you still do keep winding them up. I mean, you don't go soft on them. No, well, the, 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 the most the funniest story you, you, is you, you obviously remember the sandwich board from 2003. Yeah. <clears throat> they wanted um, Gladbrokes, who were the, one of the sponsors, said to all their punters, OK, England win the World Cup, what would you like to see? So, well, we'd love to see David Campes. You walk down Oxford and said, the sandwich board. Yeah. And I said, OK. I did it, and yet they, they paid me £10,000 to do it, so... Oh, we remember that. Saw the photographs. Me. Remember the photographs. We can't get them out of our mind, actually. <laughs> but then exactly, sub- yeah. subsequently, so, I mean, they, they, they done they that on Skype. They still pay me to do it. Yeah, so, there we go. I don't know how that works. All right. So listen now. Are we going to? Are we saying because we just spoke to Andre Strauss now of the Force, and uh, you know he's keeping the a very Kings? level. Of, sorry, of the Kings, keeping a very sort of feet on the ground, level-headed approach to this because they know that they got a tough campaign ahead. But, I mean, do we see that result as that the Kings are maybe better than we think or is the force not even good no. enough to be a Vodacom Cup team? No, look, I think the, the biggest problem was, you know, I mean, that just shows you also the, the strength of Australian rugby. You cannot sustain... David? Hello? No, gone. Okay, we'll just find you back. Oh, just leave the page, gee. We'll just get him back. It's okay, we'll read on. <sighs> It's not me. It was no, it wasn't. It, I didn't touch that thing. Uh, right, let's get back to our... Uh, yes, I'm there. Don't worry. I'll just redial it and get David back on the line. Who is... Key, you know what the problem is? Someone is, keeps sending us messages on Skype on or Skype. trying to Skype us. And it's uh, trying to interrupt our call. But uh, what was he... Was he ab- I've got the phone thing right there. Okay, thanks, Maz. <laughs> All right, we'll get David oh, back in just a word. moment. <laughs> At least next week we'll have telephones working what again. did you do? All right, no, we just went off the page. Um, I was about to just say, I think that uh, the Force aren't really a great side. And that's the thing you've got to think about, is are the Force basically a side that are no, not much better than uh, Vodacom Cup standard? No, that's where we left him. Yeah, well, sorry, I don't sorry. know what happened. No, I just lost you. It's technology. Uh, no. You were just about to go into the force, uh, not much better than Vodacom Cup standard, which yeah, how do you no, see that? Um, yeah. It, it was this, and the other thing is also, if you look at the game, there wasn't really too many current test players playing in you know, either team. Yeah. So I think that's why the standard was as it is. Force, um, 
you know, obviously they, they scored a try when the referee pulled them back because of that use it, use it, use it rule. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it wasn't a great spectacle, I must say. But, you know, I mean, the Kings, I mean, you know, it's great for them to win a game because I think you know, the, the more games they win, the more confidence they'll get. Yeah. But at this stage, it, it doesn't look really good for them. But the fourth were, were my point of view, were, weren't great either. Yeah. Well, their next game's against the Sharks. So, it's, it's, you know, that's probably the easiest game they're going to get of the year. Uh, against the Force. I think they play the Rebels over there in Melbourne. So you would say maybe the Rebels, yeah. uh, but in Melbourne is going to be a different proposition altogether. And they've got a couple of Test players playing in that side. They can't be, you know, they can't keep losing every week because somewhere in some somewhere in Melbourne is going to start saying, "Listen, guys, it's been uh, how many years now? Uh, it's time for results to start okay. showing." And this is the year I think they'll want it to start showing. Yeah, well, I think if you had a look at the um, the amount of players that were moving from club or province to province. You know, I mean, the Blues lost about 30 players. Yeah. And there's always the bottom teams that are changing the players around. It's not the top teams because they've got, a obviously, a very good setup. And, yeah. um, you know, if you look at the Chiefs played last week, I mean, they've got a great um, team. You know, even the guys off the bench come on and, and perform. Where the Force and the Kings, they lose two or three of their top players and they're going to struggle because there isn't that quality of player uh, around the moment. And that's, that's, that's where... Week in, week out. You know, this is a tough competition because the games aren't going to get any easier for the Force or the King and the Force play the Bulls this week. Yeah, I mean, after yeah. last week, the Bulls must be just saying, well, this is going to be an easy game. Yeah. It'll, uh, and that second week always puts things in perspective as well when you start seeing teams, uh, you know, some of the stronger sides up against either one of these two sides. And uh, I was just look, looking at it going, you know, this is probably the uh, first time that we've actually had the wooden spoon game. Uh, and the first week of uh, full Super Rugby, and that's probably what it will turn out to be. The the Force and uh, and Kings game yeah. will probably be the the battle for the wooden spoon. Yeah, look, it's, it's interesting, but I think obviously with the Force and you, oh, sorry, the Kings and new team, they wanted, you know, you've got to give heart to their supporters. So obviously they'll try and give a a game, an easier game. Yeah. But as I said, you know, once they get to the Crusaders, the Bulls, the Sharks. You know, they get New South Wales and Queensland. Those teams, I mean, it's just going to be one-way traffic. Yeah. You know, but hopefully by then that they would have got into a bit of rhythm and a bit of teamwork. But you know, the biggest problem at the moment, I think, with a lot of these teams is really teamwork. I mean, yeah. the Chiefs' teamwork looks fantastic. A lot of the other teams are still playing as individuals. And I think that's where the Kings are going to take a couple of years because they've got to get to know each other, play guys that come from different areas to understand which way you step right, step left, you know, and... And basically, at this level now, you've got to really trust each other, and that, that's one of the biggest problems you find when you get a new franchise together, is the trust of the players when they play together. And when you compare, by comparison, I think it does back up, Johnny, your phone, uh, what uh, you were saying, I think, last week and the week leading into Super Rugby, uh, well, we only chatted to you for the first time last week, uh, that once again, New Zealand, I mean, that Chiefs-Highlanders game, you know, by comparison to the yawn on oh. Friday night, and then what, what else we saw over the weekend... Um, you can just see the difference in standard and quality immediately. Well, it was talk and cheese, wasn't it? Yeah. I got excited watching the cheese because, you know, they both had a, had a go and they ran the ball and it didn't stop. And then you go and watch New South Wales Queensland and fall asleep with. You know, in the other games, it wasn't because I think the, the top teams will, will, will shine. And the Chiefs, obviously, after last year, they've lost Sonny Bill Williams. But you can see they're hungry, and they're, you know, as I said again, they're actually enjoying their rugby the first game, and you can see the excitement on their faces. You know, you watch other games, and the guys are going, oh, shit, we're 20 minutes to go. <laughs> How are we going to last this? <laughs> and that, that's, you know, and then you watch the, the Sharks and the Cheetahs as well. Like, with one way, you know, it was, it's pretty good rugby, but there's a lot of mistakes. Yeah. But again, you know, or at this stage, Darren, it's really just to win a couple of games. Mm. And I think that's the object of a lot of teams. Make sure... If you get the bonus points, win the games, and when it comes to the serious end of the season, you're in a good position. Yeah, set the uh, lay the platform, and uh, as I was saying earlier, the Sharks just need to learn that uh, a game is never won until the end. They they, they, they find themselves in this no. position at time and time again, where they just completely dominate, and then suddenly they uh, it will take the foot off the pedal, and, and you think you know you, you just can't do that at any stage against any team. Especially like a team like yeah, the Cheetahs. You know, yeah, no, you're true. I mean, you've got to, you know, it's like when, when we used to play, it's like, you know, you go out there, you know you should win. We'll go out there and make it at 40 half time, make it 80 at full time. Yeah. Make sure you, you absolutely give them a high. And if you Polarize. go out there and say, oh, 20 points up, yeah. a lot of teams have actually lost games because they've actually realised that, oh, it's going to be easy. Then the opposition just come back. And that's where, you know, the Cheetahs always do that to the Sharks. Um, but again, you know, 
the, the, the competition is so early to start off with. You haven't seen the Crusaders play yet, and they're supposed to be one of the favourites. So it's pretty daunting when you've got some teams you haven't even seen play um, who actually, you know, uh, sort of t- uh, tip to win the title. Yeah. All righty. Well, early days yet. Uh, thank you for your time. Enjoy your trip to London. How long are you there for? Um, back on Saturday. We're going to do any tipping, or are you just going to... Yeah, no, to no, no, we're going to get to that now. Simon's got the fixtures, so let's have a look at your okay. thoughts. Before, yeah, before no, we get back to... On, Back on Saturday. Okay. Before we get to the fixtures, I just want to ask Camper about his uh, his rant on Twitter again uh, at, uh, at another, Tom Carter. Another one. Jeez, what's going on? <laughs> well, did, did you watch the game? Who me? No. No. Did you guys watch New South Wales play? Well, no. obviously. So Why would we do that? Tom did Carter. Tom Carter is a player who who I've known. I was at university coaching a couple of years ago. He was there. He cannot cut. He cannot cut, catch and pass. <laughs> Now, I kept on saying it's very easy for an opposition team to defend against him because he doesn't add a lot to the team. And uh, after the game, one journalist, a lady I had a go at last year, interviewed him, <laughs> and I've gone, why well, speak to him? He's got no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't be- try and tell what I see. You're you know, becoming I'm like the like Piers like Morgan of Australian, Australian New York. <laughs> and then on um, Tom Carter's... Wikipedia profile it says Carter is regarded by Greg Martin to be one of the most disliked players in Super Rugby <laughs> but has been backed up by his teammates there we go well yeah. he is he's an absolute idiot I don't know why he's there <laughs> <laughs> there we go alright predictions Simon fixtures ok Blues Crusaders uh, Crusaders yeah Waratahs Rebels uh, I've got to go for Waratahs at home, yeah. Yep. I'll get better. Uh, so, listen, uh, this will help you with your Super Brew. Okay, how, how, how Yeah, we didn't do predictions last week, did uh-uh. we? Yeah, so uh, no. let's see how David does with with helping you with Super Brew. Yeah? Reds, Canes? Ooh, that's in Queensland? Yeah, yeah. Brisbane, yeah. Um, I actually think they're Hurricanes. The Hurricanes. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Chiefs, Cheetahs? Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Chiefs. Chiefs by 30. <laughs> Ouch. Bulls force? Uh, Bulls. By 30. Shark Stormers? Mm-hmm. Shark Stormers, big game. Oh, I, I, have to, I have to go for the Sharks because I thought the Stormers last week were very pedestrian. They, I, I still don't understand. They've got Yankees at number 10 who's a flair player and you've got two centers that just bash the ball up. Yeah. You know, Yankees needs to be in the back line. He's got some guys who can create running the gaps and give him options. Yeah. Uh, John DeVillage has got to add something to his game yeah. now because everyone knows what he does. Yeah. You know, the defences are very, very structured. So what he's got to do, he's got to learn to offload, get Brian O'Donnell to come inside, outside, start mixing it up so it keeps your position guessing because otherwise it's just one-way traffic. Yeah. But I think the Sharks. Dave? And we owe the Stormers as well, yes. Dave, I'm a big uh, King supporter, and I bet you they won't lose this, this weekend coming. Oh, shut up, John. <laughs> huh? Silly. Why? It's because they've got a buy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they've got another four, four points. points eight points back. after yes. two weeks. <laughs> Gee, amazing. And they'll finish the Must thing with The only that. competition in the world, you actually don't play, and you get some points. points. I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's crazy. Yes, okay, what other games? That's it. That's it. Is that it? Yep. All right, Shark Stormers, big game this weekend. Is. That's oh, the big one. Is. Yeah. Yep. All right, Dave. We'll uh, have a good trip okay. to London. We'll chat to you again next Monday. Travel safe. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, guys. Okay, Enjoy. David. See you later. Bye-bye. Cheers, David. Bye-bye. Bye. So there's David Campisi joining us on the Google phone. This is Paul's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Bulls.co.za.